What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time watching, thank you for joining us. Today we are reacting to What We Do in the Shadows, Season 2, Episode 4. In the last episode, we saw the vampires and everyone go to the neighbor's house for a Super Bowl party. Unfortunately, a superb owl party. Unfortunately, I was about to get to that. They read it wrong, or at least they were told wrong. Uh, but Colin, as he said, he didn't bother to try, like let them know that that's not what it is. No, he did. He told them what it was. But he didn't bother but to they, like they, explain they, to them. They just ignored him. Yeah, and they. So but he, he said he didn't. That's why he didn't bother. Yeah. Um. So they thought they were going to get to see this superb owl. Uh, didn't happen. Instead, the neighbor let him know that he thought they were vampires, even though that's not what happened. <laughs> well, no, well, he didn't say that he thought they were vampires. He made a joke about how they never come out in the like during the day. Yeah, and, and he called them vampires. Wow. Yeah, like, what are you, vampires or something? Like, it was something along those lines. Just some, like, snide little comment that didn't mean anything. And that sent them, that sent Laszlo and Nandor into panic mode. Mm -hmm. uh, they had to go take a shit together. A human shit. And they made sure to let whoever came by know, as if that's just a normal thing to do, yeah. together. <laughs> I guess, like I said, they don't understand social cues. They are not humans. They, they, yeah. <laughs> no need to explain. They're fucking vampires. They were, at, they were at one point, though. I can't imagine that it was normal for for grown men to go and take shits together in the one toilet. Well, no. Alive. But when they were humans, what, what year or century was it? Right? Now, I don't know about the shitting together, but I'm sure it was way different than it is now. <laughs> to try and get rid of the dude's memory... They tried to double hypnotize him, and by accident, they... I mean, I don't even know if it was by accident. They were both saying stupid shit. Nandor was the one trying to tell him to forget that they were a vampire, and then fucking Laszlo said to forget everything. Uh -huh. So they gave him the what's called the brain scramblies, and basically turned his brain to pudding, and he didn't remember a goddamn thing. Uh, but before they put him out... Of, they, before they wanted to put him out of his misery, they wanted to give him one last good night... And that meant t torturing him, I guess. Yeah, like <laughs> it certainly was not a good night for him. But they had, had a good rough. night. I think that's what they meant. Let us have a good night with him. Um, they brought him back home, and I guess he he like fell in love with his wife all over again. So there's that. They let they let him live, and they let him keep that necklace that uh, Naja was looking for. Uh, because they'll they'll get it back soon. Right? They're going to die. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Naja was torturing her... What is it? The the girl she babysat when she was a little baby. Now the woman's like elderly. Um, completely gaslighting her, making her feel like she's going crazy. Call, kept saying she was demented. And the women in the household just kept going along with it because she's an older woman. What are you going to do? Whilst all that was happening... Uh, Guillermo went and joined a club what he thought was a mosquito club so he could try and look for some virgins to bring back to the to Nandor and them uh, ended up being a vampire hunters club uh, good job Guillermo I mean it's not his fault but geez like what kind of luck is that yeah that's it's ridiculous uh, luck or unluck depending on how you choose to look at it I guess um it's almost as if this life was calling to him. Yeah. <laughs> like he had a chance to show off his skills, even though he didn't want to. They certainly they went out of their way to make him feel welcome. Yeah. And, and you could, I, I feel like you could tell he was like struggling with it because of how nice they were being. Yeah. At the end but there, he when he was leaving, when he was leaving, uh, Daryl from the office, he said. Uh, you know, you're a cool dude or whatever. And you could tell he he's either going to go back or he felt bad for what he wanted to do or something. Uh, he feels appreciated. And what's cool is that Jenna's roommate is there too because she saw Jenna die and come back to life. So continuity, that's pretty dope. Uh, we'll see where this leads with her relationship and Jenna. Hopefully we get to see Jenna at some point. I feel like we go episodes without seeing her. Kind of sucks. I want to see her progress. Right? Uh, but other than that, I don't 
think much else happened. Am I missing anything? No, I think we got it all. I mean, we didn't really talk about Colin too much. Like, he did his thing draining the energy. Yeah, he was just sucking the energy out of everybody. So, Eventually, I mean, that one dude pissed himself. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Um, but yeah, anyway, before we get into it, if you're interested in full-length reactions, you can check us out on Patreon. The link is down in the description. So, with that being said, let's just jump right in. Season 2, Episode 4. Here we are. I keep all of my correspondences from the past seven and a half centuries in this box. I used to get so many letters. Tens of thousands were slaughtered. I guess I never had a chance to open it. I resigned myself to surrender. I plead for a road to peace. <laughs> <laughs> it's connected to this Ethernet cable. Yes, I know how the ether works, Guillermo. <laughs> Ethernet. <laughs> Give me this. He doesn't know how to type. Okay. Well, if that's it, I'm going to head out because I have a couple of errands to run. Okay, then bye-bye. Is he going back to the Vampire Hunters Club? What if it's a little old lady vampire? Kill. What if it's a little baby mm. vampire? Kill. Yeah. back. <laughs> well, look here. Hey. Guillermo, you ready to slay some suckers? Are they going to find out, like, that he works for them? That he's a familiar? Yeah. You guys are pumped for training. <laughs> training? No, nah, training's over. What, what's going on? Our first what? official hunt. Oh, no. I'm what? sorry, what? Oh, shit. Jenna. No, no. You can't kill her. You know my roommate who was turned into a vampire? Well, I think I figured out where the ones who turned her live. It's a house right here in Staten Island. It's a big... <laughs> <laughs> I think I know what house you're talking about. They're normal human beings. They're not vampires. They're like teachers or social workers. We are actually. going there tonight. Yes. Oh, fuck. You're you all dead. Do you realize this is a crime, right? You can't just go killing people that you think are vampires. Next message. This is not a joke. You are now cursed. Oh, shit. Oh, he God damn it. Cursed. Warning, if you've read this far, Bloody Mary is coming late. to get them. You stupid bloody donkey, the, why did you let me read this The far? vampire hunters Says are going to get some them. some girl called Ariana yeah. disobeyed oh, Bloody Mary, and now she's dead. They ripped her guts out and dropped them on the front doorstep of her parents. Oh. I'd say we're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> why did you even open this thin machine? I was just checking my emails. I didn't know it would be full of curses. All right, yes. calm down. All we need... Where, like, can call, where's Colin when you need him? <laughs> like, he should know what this is. Yo, did you see the down a little bit, huh? It's actually hard to focus on, uh, on, on vampire killing when it's so loud, you know? <laughs> Thank you. Look on the bright side, Guillermo. You're taking a bunch of people who aren't very good at this, and they're all probably virgins. Think of it more like you're bringing your master a feast. <laughs> Whoa! What clarion call is that? The clagging chimes of doom? It's a fucking phone. Have they never answered their own phone? Guess not. We're not in right now, but if you'd like to leave a message for Nandor, Naja, or Laszlo, please do so at the tone. <laughs> you need to get out of the house right now. You need to get out of here and die. Oh, shit. Oh, God, <laughs> God damn, damn it. it. <laughs> <Your move. laughs> this is the worst timing. I know one we could try. Bloody fucking Mary, that little piss snake. Thinks she can send the curse to us? Well, let's see how she likes it when I send an email to bloody fucking Mary at AOL.com. <laughs> Did she reply? No, it is from Mailer Demon. Demon! Oi. I'll give you my email address. <laughs> Then I get the curse, and I can pass the curse on to the company directory. Send it to Jason first. He'll send it over to Andrew. He'll get to Becky. When it gets to Becky, I'm going to get it. Jesus Christ, too. did you just give the rude, damn email? Robinson, but could you get on with it? Otherwise, it's certain. What if, it, what if the curse was real? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's impossible to discount the possibility in this world. But, no. Here we go. Are 
Oh, they had a di oh, they're at a different house. Okay. Oh hell yes. And let's just be cautious, guys, because they could just be regular people. And we're like breaking into their house. Get you. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Are they about to commit like murder? That's what it looks like. It could just be a person. Like, <laughs> check this out, man. A bad But check this out. If it was a vampire, why would you go at night? They're awake, right? They're just kids. You know, I used to have star stickers like that when I was a kid. Ursa Major, Ursa Minor. Oh shit! Oh shit! Candace Minor. Janice, we need to go. If the police showed up, I think it's hit to go. What the fuck? Oh no! <laughs> fuck! Going? Oh my God. Kill him! <laughs> <laughs> They're fucking vampires. Whoever finds us, you have to warn everyone. Oh shit! Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Why, why do just, they always ignore the camera crew? I was going to say that. Like, why do they just leave the camera guys alone? Are they all vampires now? Get the fuck off of me! <laughs> Bat. Oh, why would you do that? Oh! Oh. Shut up! Jesus Christ. Damn, dude. <laughs> you sure you didn't fucking kill him? You're too good at this. Well, there you go. Oh, now they're <laughs> turning on the camera crew. All this is playing havoc with my guts. Talking about guts, I did tell you about Ariana when her guts were dragged yes, out on the doorstep. Yes, yes! No, 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 please, Bloody Mary, have mercy on us. Do not rip our guts out! Just Guillermo, right? It's not no. Get the shit out of us. <laughs> <laughs> the tide to go pens were on sale, so you got some extra cash. Unforeseen riches. <laughs> Dude, oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you know, while you were out running your errand, we were in very serious danger. Because of your machine. We could have been killed tonight. <laughs> Did you know that? It was really scary. <laughs> I'm sorry, Master. Guillermo? Yes? Would you mind staying for a few moments? Just until I fall asleep. He's still scared. <laughs> it's like a child. I'm not asleep yet, Guillermo! <laughs> I don't I don't think that's going to work. Yeah, it's a bit much, buddy. <laughs> All right, that was season two, episode number four of What We Do in the Shadows. Another good episode. As we saw, Nandor, Naja, and Laszlo freaked out over the stupid email chains that everyone gets sent. Those, uh... But what do you... But, like, th those were old. Those are so old, though. Like, I don't think people do that anymore. Well, I mean, you have like, to remember, we're watching it in 2023, but this show was... Like 2014, 2015? No, but like he, he was also looking through his old emails. Yeah. So who like he probably got that in like 2007 or some shit. Oh yeah. Um, but they it was Bloody Mary. You never know. <laughs> some people, dude. I ask my coworker at work sometimes about that shit. He, I ask him like, hey, you want to go home and play Bloody Mary? And he freaks out like, fuck no, like bro, really, <laughs> you're a pussy. Because <laughs> he believes all that paranormal stuff. But, yeah, uh, they thought they were cursed. And they broke the curse. They got all ten emails, and they sent them. And they got the unforeseen riches or whatever at the end. Which <laughs> it wasn't unforeseen riches. <laughs> like, he's, like, it was just more change yeah, than, than he, he normally would have gotten. <laughs> yeah. But it's Nandor. What do you expect? Uh, perhaps the best part of the episode was uh, the, the vampire hunters. Going out and actually running. In. I honestly thought it was a normal family. I wasn't expecting yeah. that at all. There was a fucking army in that house. 
poor poor Guillermo. Like you you know he didn't want to go on a killing spree. Oh no. <laughs> and they relied on him heavily. Like they were Because he was the only one who could do anything. They all they all suck. Well yeah, but they, they were ready. Like had had he act had they actually shown up at uh, at Nandor's house, they like he he would have just had to let them die. Pretty much. <laughs> Because it's not like they were going to do anything. They don't know how to do anything, apparently. Fucking Daryl shot himself in the foot. Other dude looks like he's dead. But they still have to return the van to his mom. That's, <laughs> that's got to be weird. <laughs> uh, were any of them bit? I don't know. That one girl, uh, Jenna's roommate, she was trapped in the coffin with one of them for a little while. But Guillermo was checking around her neck. Uh, I don't think that any of them were. But, I mean, it's possible. Maybe we'll find out in the next episode. Who knows? Uh, anyway, that's pretty much it. Not a lot happened in this. I mean, a lot did, but it was the same two stories, right? So not much. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed our reactions. If you haven't already, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below. Hit that notification bell so you're notified whenever we upload a brand new video. And, of course, if you're interested in our full-length reactions, you can check us out on Patreon. The link is down below in the description. So with all that being said, we'll see you guys in the next one.